Hi everybody, Brianna here from White Welsh LLC with our Tin Soldier Safety Latches. We're going to do a quick installation video for you guys to show you how easy it is to put these in. Alright, inside of our box we have five Tin Soldier Safety Latches, stainless steel latches. You can see they're polished up. They have our Tin Soldier um, logo on there. So we have those. We have a set of instructions and we have our packet of screws. All right, let's take a look at these. So as far as tools, what we'll need is a pencil and a, a screwdriver. So um, if you have an electric screwdriver, it might be helpful, but I know not everybody has one. So I'm just going to use a little handheld manual um, screwdriver to show you how easy it is. That's funny. In our instructions, we have text and pictures. And then we're just going to take one of these safety latches and installed on this cabinet door here today. So we're going to open the cabinet door and we're going to place the safety latch in one to two inches from the edge of the cabinet. Now this could be installed um, right, right side up like that or if you were going to um, do it on a cabinet like this one here, you could even do it on the side of the cabinet. So. More like, let's see, like this. So this is helpful if your countertop overhangs too much um, and you can't get your fingers in. Now mine aren't a problem here, but um, that is an option to install it on the side just like that. So, but for this cabinet door, we're going to install it at the top. So, so we hold it on in place and close the cabinet and we... What we're going for is about an eighth inch from the top of the frame, just like this. I'm going to hold it in place and I will show you guys a little close up. All right. Wobble you around just a little bit here. So you can see that I'm holding it right there so that it will just be right under the edge of the frame and um, all right, get you back in place there. Okay, so once I have it in place, I'm going to bring it back out and I'm going to mark those holes. Okay, and that is just helpful because as I'm screwing it in, um, if I if my fingers let go of it and it wobbles slightly, I can just get it right back into place and I don't have to remeasure. So we're gonna open that cabinet door, just like that, well, it's already happened. Um, but I can line it right back up just like that. And then I'm gonna get a couple more screws right here. Now in the bag, you're gonna find 10 round-headed screws because each safety latch uses two of the round-headed screws for the bottom plate here. And then you're gonna find, so that's what we need for this part is two of those round headed screws, just like that. You can see that, it's not focusing, but you can see there. So we use very good stainless steel um, screws, good hardware, so that it won't be as easy to strip out or break or have bad threads. These are the best we could find, so we know how important that is. So we're gonna place them in the, the safety latch, just like that. And then we're going to hold them in place and then kind of line them up here with our, um, with our holes in the cabinet. Okay, so this part I like to stabilize. Um, you can see I'm kind of stabilizing the door here with my knees um, just so I don't push too hard on the hinges while I'm installing it. I'm just going to line it up there with the marks I made before. I'll start with just one screw in place. I'm going to hold it right in there. You guys can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to begin to screw that in, just like that. It goes in pretty easily. 
So here you go. See me? <laughs> it goes in pretty easily. Um, there's not a whole lot of resistance in the cabinet doors, even with this solid wood one. Okay, now I've got it most of the way in. Um, you can see that it still wiggles around a little bit. I haven't tightened it all the way down. So. And then I'm going to grab the second screw, which is right underneath me here. <laughs> um, right here, second little screw. And we're going to get that one ready to go in. So again, we're going to line it up with those uh, marks we made before. Right there. And just gonna start screwing that in. Now, again, holding my cabinet door so I don't put too much pressure on the hinges, I'm kind of pulling it towards me as I screw this in. All right. And it goes in pretty easily. I mean, I'm not a huge person, super strong. Um, and it's no problem for me to screw these in by hand. But again, if you had an electric screwdriver, it'd go in faster, but it's no problem with the manual one. So, you can see it's still a little bit loose. I'm just gonna tighten those a little bit. It's still a little bit loose. It's not tightened down quite all the way. So, go on the other side now, you can see Oh, that's gonna go in there. All right. Just like that. All right, and okay. It's pretty much where I want it to be, right in there. And I'm gonna adjust it so it's at its highest. Or adjust it. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that down now. But you can always adjust it a little bit up or down um, if needed after you get the catch screw in. Okay, that one's pretty, pretty strong in there. Let's see. And now that it's installed, um, you can press down slightly on there. And you see it just has a little bit of give to it. So when they're not installed, <laughs> there they go. Um, before they're installed, they're they're really strong and durable. They don't really bend at all. But once it's installed with that leverage, you can see it bends just a little bit. All right, now we're going to go for the catch screw. This is the final um, piece. We're going to get into our bag and find... Um, one of the flat headed screws. Just like that. Okay, so in your baggie, what we used before was a round headed screw. You're also going to find five of the flat headed screws right here. These are what we use for the catch at the top. You can see the flat one there. Okay, so we're going to take that, the flat headed um, catch screw, and that is what we will use to install here. So here, it, I'm going to bring you guys in for another little close-up. So we're going to um, close the door slightly until our latch lines up with the frame. And then we're going to make a mark right where the center, see the center of this um, catch opening lines up with the frame. Just like that, right there. And you can see that's where we want to put our catch on the inside. It lines up perfectly with that, okay? So, now that we know where that's gonna be, um, right there, we're going to take our catch screw right here, and we are going to line it up with that. Alright, so I've lined that up with the mark that we just made, and I'm aiming for the center of the frame on the underside, just for strength. We don't want it too close 
to the front of the frame or the back of the of the frame where it would it would um, uh, pull pull too much. So. Got that lined up. I'm just gonna screw that in now. And pretty easy. It doesn't require too much force. Again, these are solid wood um, wood cabinets, and I'm eas easily able to do it with just a manual screwdriver. So you can see that going in there. Alright, now I'll give you a close-up view of that again. So, we'll keep screwing that in until it is also about an eighth inch sticking out of the frame, right there. Now we're going to test out, test out our um, safety lock. And you can hear a satisfying clang there. Um, so we're going to press down slightly to release it. Now that's a little stronger than I want as for the catch. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, tighten it a little further to move it up into the frame a little bit more. And I'm going to test it again. Still, still kind of loud. I'm going to move it up a little farther. So what I'm doing is just tightening it so it goes up even more. Okay, this is sounding, sounding better. Perfect. So there, it's not quite as loud of a clang. Just a little sound. And you can see here, I just depress it and it opens. Okay, nice and secure. No kids are getting into the cabinet now. All right, thank you for watching. We hope that helps you get your Tin Soldier safety latches installed properly. And please let us know if you have any questions.